I remember like yesterday the first car I ever got. It was a BMW Coupe, it was beautiful, it was black, it was sexy, it was driving so nicely, it looked amazing, it did the job. I was 21, I was all for it. A few months later, I saw the first check engine light. A few months later, I saw the first tire pressure light. A few weeks later, the window that was supposed to go down while opening the door would not come down and it would not go up when I was slamming the door with uh, danger of breaking. One night, I thought I would lock the car and by pressing the button, all the windows would close, the, the sunroof would close, but I thought I did it and then the sunroof was not doing it and all the rain was falling all the night in the car. The problems kept coming and coming. It was getting so painful to continue having that car. I was in love with it, but it didn't make any sense. Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time to the channel, we're talking about credit cards, points, finances, and travel. If this is something that interests you, please like this video, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. We'll go back to my original comment a little later in the video, but for now, we're gonna talk about Southwest. And Southwest lately, has updated again the sign up bonuses and I wanted to give you an update to know exactly the numbers to see how much sense they make and if uh, they're really worth it. So without any further ado, let's jump to the presentation and come back to wrap it up. So Southwest flies to 117 destinations and 10 foreign countries. The points value stands at 1.3 sets per point in general and the current sign up bonus is 50,000 points after spending 1,000 in three months across all personal credit cards. My personal credit card is the priority. I've been having this for the past uh, three or four years at this point. It has great credit, $75 uh, travel credit every year, 7,500 points for upgraded uh, boardings and 25% in-flight purchases. Uh, the multipliers looking good, 3x on Southwest, 2x on rental uh, partners. Uh, local transit, internet, cable, phone, 1x and everything else. Again, the light green is uh, the value in dollar amount that you're getting from the sign up bonus. And the light blue is what you're getting for the spending you're doing to hit the sign up bonus. And I always use the average of the multipliers to calculate this. And then the uh, white is the credits and the dark green is the total. So combining all these, we see that the return on spend is 63%. This is amazing. This is better than the uh, hotel credit cards we checked just a few days ago. Then we have the Premier, uh, same, same sign-up bonus. Uh, the credits are 6,000 uh, points. Two early bird check-ins uh, a year, 25% off in-flight purchases. The multipliers are exactly the same as the priority and uh, the return on spend is 56%. We're looking at the plus. Uh, we have 3,000 points every year, two early bird check-ins and 25% uh, off in-flight purchases. Uh, the multipliers are not that great. 2x on Southwest, uh, rental partners, uh, local transit, internet, cable, phone, and 1x on everything else. But the return on spend is better. It's 60% and this is because it has basically a smaller annual fee even though the multipliers are better we're looking to hit the sign up bonus on the first year that's why it doesn't look that great for the premiere uh, but as we know what's important is not what happens only the first but the second and every year after as always to uh, calculate that we're going to use our imaginary budget of twelve thousand dollars equally spread between travel restaurants gas and groceries and we see that for the second year and every year after, uh, the priority has a 3.8% return on spend. Uh, 2.1 is for the premier and 1.7 is for the plus. This is typical. This is what we see in every video. The more you pay on annual fee, the better returns you're getting. It's a no brainer as long as you travel. Now, on the previous video about Southwest, we also talked about the uh, business side and the performance business and the premier business. And on this example, we, with the numbers we have right now, we see that for the first year, if we were calculating this in the equation, the performance business would be fourth and the business premier would be fifth. But for the second year and every year after, the first would be uh, the performance business with 3.9 return on spend. And third would be the premier business with uh, the average return on spend at 2.5. Now, going back to my original statement, 
I loved my car. It was incredible, but it started not working for me. I have the priority, Southwest priority for three, four years. I used to travel to Costa Rica. This is the main use case scenario for me for that credit card. Southwest offers two luggages free. So I was able to get whatever I wanted without thinking twice. Uh, Southwest are the most amazing employees. They just, they make your, your experience better. Uh, they smile, they're accommodating. I never had any issue unlike JetBlue or American Airlines. So yeah, Southwest all the way. That being said, I'm traveling to Costa Rica next month. I'm going once more to Costa Rica and I'm looking to get a lot of luggages this time. So for me, it was very important to get a Southwest flight. I was looking and I couldn't find anything for the dates I was looking. I was flexible, so I looked before and after and the best deals I could get were really at the very best mediocre. I was able to book a flight through the Chase portal with JetBlue. Unfortunately, JetBlue, I can't believe I'm saying this, for $175. If I was paying with points, which I didn't, it would be 13,000 points. So I would basically pay about $130 one way to go to Costa Rica mid-August. Southwest for the same flight was about 45,000 points one way. And then two way, it was about 85,000 points and a $120 fee, cash. So there is a point in time where enough is enough. I just paid the annual fee for my priority. I am not sure I should keep it I am not sure if I did the right thing. I am this close to call Southwest or Chase and cancel this credit card, at least get $150 back and call it a day. It's been a while since I traveled with Southwest. Um, during the pandemic, they were not going to Costa Rica. It took them a while to start traveling again. And now um, they're just bad. It just takes a lot of effort and a lot of energy from me to try to find something and then it doesn't make any sense. I am not sure what to do. I would really like your opinion about this. If you have any information about Southwest, if they're going to go back to normal, I understand flights and travel has been going crazy lately, but I feel that what's going on with Southwest right now, especially in my use case scenario, is just bad. That being said, my wife is coming soon. Hopefully we'll be traveling within the country. Maybe I do have a use case scenario for this credit card. But as of right now, I'm very, very, very disappointed. And I'm honestly this close to canceling it. I, it just doesn't work for me anymore. It's the same thing as my BMW. It was beautiful to look. I had all kinds of beautiful emotions for it. It just didn't want to work. But let me know what you guys think. If you have any uh, similar experience with Southwest lately, I'm sure you have with all airliners, but especially with Southwest. <sighs> I just, I just don't want to let go. I have great feelings about Southwest, great experiences, but at the same time, I just need to travel. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching until the next one. Ciao.